Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I am Star, and today we are doing my favorite video that I do every single month, plush that sold on eBay. We're going to take a look at all of the plush that sold on our eBay store in the month of July 2021. So I have up every single plush that did sell during that month. Now, keep in mind, the first two weeks of July, we did not list at all. We were wrapping up and finishing packing for our move to Florida. We had our eBay store turned off for a full week, the third week of July. And then we opened it back up at the end of July and had like five day handling on it. So... This is pretty good. I'm pretty excited about how much that sold in spite of the fact that we weren't listing. We had the store on the vacation mode, um, not selling anything for a full week. And we just got it back up and running at the end of July. So we'll start with what you guys are looking at here. This is a Dandy plush. Dandy's a good brand. It's a pretty solid bread and butter brand. Some of the plush can be higher end bread and butter and some can be bolas depending on their size and what the animal is. This is a Halloween black cat with a green little witch hat. She's so cute. And she sold for $17.99 and shipped first class. Next up, we have a classic toy company, Tiki Totem Pole. Classic toy company for a long time was one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I would do really well with the dragons and the unique plush like this totem pole. Um, they slowed down a little bit. They're still, they're still good as far as the amount of money they fetch. You can see this is just an 11 inch plush that sold for um, $16, but it took forever. So it is very slow, um, very long tail, even for plush. Plush is probably why did I say probably? Plush is very, very long tail. And it is even more slow than clothing or any other category, I think, except for like vintage furniture. Plush is very slow. Within the plush, this has a very um, slow sell through rate, but the prices are still good. So if, if I find classic toy company plush that are like the dragons and the rare animals and things like this for like 50 cents, I'll still pick them up, um, but don't run out and buy a whole bunch of them. And this did ship first class. Next up, we have a Fortnite Cuddle Team Leader 3-inch plush head. This is something I would actually probably pick up if I saw it in the wild for like 50 cents or a dollar. It came to me in a mystery box, so that was exciting. But Fortnite itself is still pretty popular. Any video game plush or a plush that has to do with pop culture, especially when it's in the height of its popularity, is always good to grab. This sold for $12.18 and shipped first class. Next up, we have a Build-A-Bear Monkey. This is just a plain brown chimpanzee Build-A-Bear. And he sold for $16.87. My cost was around 50 cents, so that's a nice return on investment. I still love Build-A-Bears, uh, of course, your more unique animals, your pop culture animals, things like that, are always going to fetch more money. My Little Pony does really well, um, but I always pick up the plain Build-A-Bear, bears and monkeys and dogs. I start them around $18 or $19 and lower them a little bit over time or run sales on them, and they don't take that long to sell. So. I do enjoy them. If you find them with clothes on them, I always advise to strip them down and sell the clothes separately. You can make more money that way. Next up, we have a Hard Rock Cafe Bear. Hard Rock Cafe Bears aren't that great. I bought a ton of bunch of them in a bulk buy from a yard sale at the very beginning of our reselling journey. Um, they're just not that exciting. This one sold for $8.50. There are some that will sell for a little bit more, um, but I don't really advise anyone to pick these up. Next up, we have a shark. I picked him up just because he was unique. You can see he's red and white. 
I've never heard of BJ Toy Company. It was local to PA. Um, and he was cute. And you know what? He sold for $13. So I paid 50 cents. So that's a nice return. He did ship first class. Next up, we have an Angry Birds Star Wars Darth Vader head. Angry Birds is hit or miss. The plain red ones are really, really slow and very cheap. The big, the bigger ones, like in the bomb, the ones from Rio, the more unique characters, those are going to sell faster. They're going to sell for more money. So you can be picky and choosy when you do Angry Birds. You can comp them before you source them. Personally, if they're under a dollar, I still grab them all up anyway. They're easy enough to list, and they do sell. Vader here sold for $11.99. Shipped first class. Next up, we have a Darren NASA shuttle. This is something that came in a wholesale lot I purchased from Greg. Hi, Greg. I had two of these, and I listed both of them as one listing, multiple quantities. And the first one did sell for $14.99. I still have another one. Um, but these are unique and very cool. So this is something, yes, it came in a wholesale lot, so obviously I'm going to list it. But it is something I would pick up if I saw in the wild. Anything unique like this, I always grab. Petting Zoo. If you didn't know, the Petting Zoo is part of the Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. So this is something I always snatch when I see it. This came in a wholesale lot, though. And it's a unique rainbow-colored owl. Super cute. Sold for $12 on a best offer. Shipped first class. Next up, we have Build-A-Bear Trekking Turtle. So this turtle is an example of a more rare or unique Build-A-Bear that can go for a lot more money. This is the Trekking Turtle with a plush uh, shell zipper backpack. So that's his back, his shell, but it um, unzips and becomes a backpack. And kids can put their, their money in it or their cards or whatever kids carry these days. <laughs> Super cute, though. He did sell for a full asking price of $34.99. So keep your eyes out for those unique Build-A-Bears, guys. Uh, this is an example of vintage plush that can sometimes be disappointing. I picked him up because he's, one, he's fuzzy, recognizable character from pop culture. And he's clearly vintage. That says 1987 right there on the tag. Compton, kind of disappointed. So Fozzie did sell for 12 bucks. I only paid 50 cents, so that's still okay to me. I will sell filler and bread and butter plush all day long. Next up, we have a Lion King adult Simba from the Disney store. I tell you guys this a lot, but the Disney plush from Disney store and the Disney parks is going to do a lot better than like the Hasbro Disney's. Certain characters do better than others. Um, adult Simba is not as oversaturated, a little bit harder to find, not as many people racing to the bottom on him. So I was able to get $19.99 for him. And they did pay shipping in addition to that. So they paid for priority shipping and $20 for the plush. He shipped in a priority box. Next up, we have a Build-A-Bear horse. This is just kind of like a plain horse. I do well with horses, any brand. Horses seem to be pretty popular. Build-A-Bear, of course, is a good brand. Um, I did take a best offer on this horse of $16.19. $1.6, 19 cents. And it shipped first class. Then we have Elmo here. Um, this is a Hasbro Elmo. So again, if this was like a official Sesame Street plush, I probably could have asked for a little bit more, but it is a Hasbro. It is a talking, singing Elmo. Sold for... Um, $13.12, and he did ship first class. And speaking of horses, here's another horse. This is a Rehoboth Beach racehorse. So these horses that are these racehorses, any brand, I still always keep an eye out for and pick up. Nanco is kind of a generic brand, but 
For some reason, horses are popular, especially these racing horses. This little dude sold for $17.81, and he shipped first class. So that is all of the plush that sold on our eBay platform in the month of July. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod, to connect with and talk with other plush sellers in the reselling community. And go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.